over for the cost and then principal is to select a contractor having carried out better qualitative works uh, it is mentioned here to select a contractor having carried out better qualitative works because uh, though we want that a contractor should come who has uh, the experience of good quality work and he will do the good quality work but uh, then it is it is he selected based on the past performance therefore uh, we have written here that contractor having carried out better quality work in general weightages may vary from 60% to 80% for quality and 20 to 40% for cost however in our country in india the weightage is generally considered from 70 to 80% for quality and 20 to 30% for the cost and then quality is assessed first and thereafter Uh, technical bits are opened first and then bits are evaluated for quality now technical bits means the the quality is to be assessed in the quality uh, in the technical bit evaluation and uh, a contractor assessed having best quality gets highest marks and when priced bits are or financial bits are opened then the contractor having least cost is given highest mark then both the marks are added and who so ever have achieved maximum marks he is considered for award of the work suppose weightage for the quality and cost is considered 70 to 30 and suppose a contractor having best quality gets 65% based on our evaluation uh of out of 70 marks and other two suppose there are three contractors uh, three bids are there then two have obtained the marks as 61 and 57 then the contractor say a b c are there then a will be getting 65 marks in quality assessment and suppose he has quoted 105 marks for a work and uh, second uh, who is got uh, Uh, 61 marks has quoted uh, 100 mark crores, and third, who has got in quality assessment is 57 marks has quoted 90 crores. Then contractor C will get 30 marks uh, in cost evaluation. B will get 27 marks, and A will get 25.7 marks. Then these two are added, and you will see that A still has uh, scored 90.71 marks. B as 88 and C as 87. So highest cost, highest cost bidder though he is, but will be awarded the work as he has scored maximum marks. Suppose B scores 91 marks, 91 crores in place of 95, then the things may change uh, because uh, the total will be 91.3 marks, and he will uh, for for the for uh, the bidder B. and he will be eligible for award of work in spite of getting less marks in quality now uh, as we have mentioned that quality is assessed first and there after technical bits are opened uh, that means technical bits are opened first and then bits are evaluated for the quality a contractor assessed having best quality gets highest marks as we have already discussed now uh, sometimes what happens that we have Uh, in addition to this uh, we have pre qualification criteria and in this uh, pre qualification criteria basic parameters are there and then uh, bids are first evaluated for pre qualification and once uh, pre qualified bids are there and uh, they, they are eligible then this qcbc is applied uh, and then uh, you see that uh, uh the weightages are uh, uh, important as we have seen if uh, weightage is say 80 20 for quality and cost or if it is 60 40 the things will change so so weightages are very crucial and they should be mentioned clearly in the tender document higher weightages uh, for quality means higher chances of selection of a bidder having scored but more marks in quality Uh, or technical bits therefore uh, higher chances of getting a contractor who has done the quality work uh, 
and then uh, uh, his quality uh, quality means when we are talking about the quality it means we are to define the parameters how to assess the quality so quality parameters are of extreme importance or attributes or whatever we call it they are very important few organizations mention the parameters or attributes in the tender document for transparency in some cases parameters are based on the document submitted by the bidders however generally clients do not give bad quality or performance report of the work carried out by themselves in their organization because uh, otherwise responsibility accountability will come will, on, uh, will come on them therefore uh, they give better performance and then uh, we cannot assess uh, actual quality in some cases parameters are entirely based on inspection or presentation like in training or some other words uh, and as such it is entirely on the committee members to judge the quality and there may be allegation of biasness and uh, uh, some organizations are there they include provision of both evaluation based on documentary evidence submitted by the bidder from the uh, client under whom he has done the carry out the work as well as also they include the inspection of ongoing or completed works uh, which probably balances the evaluation whatever the method of evaluation it should be mentioned in the tender document but uh, um, sometimes it is better to uh, Uh, have the assessment on for the ongoing works but uh, though it is not uh, that simple but uh, um, the the assessment of the ongoing work if we do then uh, we can get a, um, quite a good re- the report which is actually the work is being carried out by the contractor qcbc bs aps to be simple but really speaking it is not so uh it is very difficult to define quality and attributes so to uh, to quality or parameters of the quality uh because they are uh, even it is said the quality is difficult to be defined but even attributes are more difficult to be defined uh because attributes are different for each type of project uh, suppose uh, some power project is there or building project or road project they will be entirely different from one to another and even for each type of work they are different multi storied building they may be different for a small building they may be different and then uh, fixing marks for each attribute is even further difficult as each attribute is important and if we are giving less marks to some attribute more marks to some other attribute then um, then it becomes difficult uh, whatever may be the difficulty these may be included in the tender document for the transparency and we should mention them that is important uh, but then uh, whether qcbs provides full proof system of getting quality work answer is no uh, because uh, you see that uh, in spite of this uh, the contractor whom we are selecting what type of work he is doing that is important and also in many cases that we know that it depends on individuals also uh then why be a qcbs is advocated answer is it provides initial performance assessment of the contractor as there are chances that uh, the 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 contractor who has been selected based on the quality performance he will be doing a quality work that's why uh, it is considered a best better approach uh what would happen if a specific contractor scores too low in qcbs Uh, chances are less of is getting the works uh, if found el- ineligible technically due to pre- pre qualification uh, even if he is uh, quoting less uh, but quality assessed or his assessment uh, of for the quality uh, he is getting less marks then he will not get the work though if he is too low that he may he may compensate for that and then uh, uh, let us see when spirit of qcbs is followed uh then spirit is that uh, the in during the pre qualification whatever bidders have been considered they, they are of equal base so if uh, they those bidders have been selected uh, based on equal base almost equal base uh, during evaluation or the pre qualification then qc bs will certainly be better approach 
now the problem is that a contractor uh, will submit experience of better quality work carried out for evolution even if he has done number of works and then, and then he knows that which one is uh, the best uh, so he submits the document averages based on that only and so for the so even the inspection is carried out for the work so then it becomes difficult for employer that uh, which work he should go for inspection or he should do the inspect uh, inspection and so that sometimes it is better that we take the list of works carried out by the contractor uh, or ongoing works list of ongoing works and choose employer choose himself a work for the inspection and uh, ongoing works may prove to be a better solution for quality assessment but the contractor may not even provide complete list uh, but uh, if there is a provision of uh, uh, assessed available bid capacity in pq criteria then contractor generally provide the complete list and from there the employer should select the work randomly so that it is it is checked by the by the employer or the committee of the employer in fact quality depends upon the policy of the organization and also on the project manager and subcontractors carrying out the work or carried out the works in the past hence all the works carried out by even by one organization or say very reputed organization may not be of same quality standards uh, because project manager or subcontractors may be different so so, so it's not that uh, all the works are of same quality though though it depends on the quality policy of the organization in case of certain type of specialized works like training expert selection of experts consultant etc assessment may be further difficult if the assessment is based just on presentation and experts experience only as the conditions during actual execution of the project may be different from the presentation made still qcbs has the system of weeding out uh, the contractors not carrying out uh, good work or carrying out poor quality work therefore it is considered a better approach uh, the success of qcbs is based on the selection of good agency selection of good agency is based on criteria of selection included in the tender document and then transparency has also to be built in the system therefore we must prepare tender document very carefully exhaustively and strict based on strict quality Uh, uh, parameters or quality attributes assessment and this evaluation criteria should be as far as possible adjusted uh, considering theoretical and also practical considerations simultaneously ensuring competitive competitiveness to have a better um, result thank you very much i am kem soni former adgcp road